Oh, man, dude. I am so sorry to anybody I've ever <laughs> caused any, you know, oh mental distress to. Please go. Go, go. So I, I go up to the desk, and I'm, like, leaning over, and I'm like, I'm, I was like, I'm not feeling well. And then I literally just, like, hit the fall back and just start, like, shaking on the floor, dude. <laughs> the and then fuck? he just kind of peeped his head over, and he was like, are you done? And I was like, yeah. And then I just got up and walked out of class. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And fucking, uh, oh, my God, Wait, dude. Who I, was this? I, I can't, no, nah, it was a sub that I'd never seen before. Oh. It's, it wasn't, like, a regular sub that I, you know, <laughs> had, had in other classes. And I, oh. would, I would say the next day, Coach Hill was in, he was like, Mr. Steinbacher. He was like, he heard about Yeah, yeah. He was like, uh, after everybody leaves, would, would you like to stay for a moment? I was like, no. Because <laughs> I, I, I was like, because I was like, because I know I'm in fucking trouble. I'm going to hit you so hard, you won't see nothing ever, 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 ever. Audio scrolls all day. The lyrics, science is correct. You can't have an opinion on something that you haven't even tried. Exactly. It could be a bad thing. But, uh, yeah, okay. It could be a bad thing, but yeah. uh, we'll, uh, we'll I think, go for it. I think Jared remembers uh i used to go in there with my fake id oh we're live so so you used to go in there with your fake id yeah. <laughs> where, where did you even get one like, um, so. well if you don't oh, if you don't want to yeah no no incrimination on this show as i've learned um, myself like my friend hold on hold on, hold on. i already do that oh yeah so okay <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen welcome to episode 103 yes 103 of the mad scientist lab podcast as always it is i rj the pizza guy Along with Jared, the visual mad scientist, we have a very special guest today in Jessica. Hi. Hey, welcome to the show. You're like the like the third woman ever on the show. Well, they say third. Oh, yeah. Is a charm. Yeah, 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 there yeah. you go. Yeah. Exactly. Three, three, episode 103, and you're the third. Oh, 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 there we go. Maybe it's fate or whatever. So let's get back to your criminal record that we were just talking <laughs> about. <laughs> so, you, so you used to go into Lucky's with a fake ID. Yeah, when oh. I was 19. Damn, and um, I looked pretty young. I think Jared might remember. Like I don't, you've known I me for a long time. Yeah, I didn't know. So. I didn't know. Damn, I didn't know. It was, wow. Do you feel old, Jared? Yeah, actually, <laughs> it, the, it's, the funny part is we were just talking about. Um, she just turned thirty-one. And no, I was, I'll, I'll be thirty-one oh, this year. So oh, I'm well, thirty right oh, now. Oh yeah, so even even worse now. Yeah. <laughs> so and I was thinking about like how long I've known her, and I'm like, that is. That's like 12, 12, 13 years, something like that. That's yeah. crazy. Time flies, man. Dude, it does. I'll be 33 in like two and a half, three weeks. So that's wow. that's pretty wild to me. Oh, yeah. Your birthday's coming up. Yeah, I know. I think I, I'm, I think I'm going to go to Pittsburgh. To, for a game? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think they're playing the Raiders. So maybe, <gasps> big, maybe big Dave would oh, like to join us. Hey, yo, I'm down. All right. So. We're we making a road trip? Yeah, we'll make a road trip. I'm not driving, though. <laughs> we'll be, we well, can't take my car. It'll break down on the well, side. We gotta, of the we'll see. Let's just see. Well, first, yeah. let, we, let's figure out tickets. Okay. Because I wouldn't mind seeing that. Yeah. No. And just, then. Just go for the fuck of it, man. Why yeah. Not? And then, yeah, just to get it. Wait. Oh, shit. Wait, what day is that? It's a Sunday. What? But when? What? I think it's the 19th. Oh, so it's a week after. Okay. Because yeah. I'm going to Alabama the week before. The weekend okay, before. Okay. All right. So. We're just traveling, man. We're just yeah. traveling. So how did they ever kick you out with the fake ID or did they like card you and they're um, like, nah, like get the fuck out kind of thing? So Henry. Or, oh, yeah. yeah. He's been he a, he, a former door. guest, former guest on the show. Yeah. He needs to come by again. He fucker. actually knew my age. And Rihanna, is it Rihanna? She used to yeah. work there, bartender. Mm -hmm. um, she knew because she went to middle school with me. Oh, And nice. like she tried to get me kicked out of there like. So many times, but nobody, oh, yeah, no, I guess I didn't care. too young. I, I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, well, yeah, that means I was I was working at the door then, yeah, yeah, yeah. How did I know? Oh. And then, um, I was going in there, I think, when I was 19, so it was mm. two years before I turned 21. Don't worry, you, you weren't the only one that was going in oh, there. Oh, yeah, I know because my <clears> friend, she when I worked at Ruby Tuesday, she's like, You should get a fake ID, let's go to Lucky's. So then, my friend worked at a club, and all these people would leave their IDs. And he found an ID of this girl. She didn't look anything like me, but he's like, oh, you can pass for this. 
You want to hear the crazy part? Icons in Fairfax, like when it existed. This, this, luckily, all these places are closed now. <laughs> <laughs> so just to make sure. My, uh, my brother was with the girl mm. whose ID I had. That's fucking crazy, wow. dude. And um, I told my friend, I'm like, you got to get out of here. Like, I'm like, look at this. I have her ID. I'm like, look at this. And, and she she's goes, here. This is so <laughs> crazy. I pulled my brother aside and go, your friend, I have her ID. And he's like, what do you mean? I'm like, she must have been to this club. Like, look. And he's like, oh, it's her. Oh, wow. <laughs> Shit. That's pretty wild, dude. Small yeah. world after all. I, and, did, um, I, I did catch one person um, they try to come in, and it was one of the same thing. It was like, look, nothing like the person. And it, 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 the funny part is I knew the person who the ID was. I was like, this isn't you. <laughs> like, <laughs> She was like, yes, it is me. I'm like. No, it's not because I know this person. <laughs> this is not you. Like, Damn. You so, doing? so she had an ID of somebody that you personally knew. I, I didn't know this person personally at the time, but I've seen them in Lucky's. Uh, I of time. see. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna name names. All right. No, oh, that's and, fine. Um, my smart self decided to go to DC one time with the ID. Ooh. You know, and um, I got caught up. But I, they're like, if you come back in here, we're gonna take the ID from you. Like, do oh, not it, come in here. Oh, come tonight. You can get <laughs> fucked up tonight, no, but no. next time you can't. They told me, they told me, they're like, you can't come in. Oh. But they're like, if you come anywhere in this perimeter of, like, X amount of feet, like, you're going to go to jail. Oh, and wow. you're going to get your ID, like, taken away. They can't really take you to jail, though. They, they can take, was, the, they can take the ID. Because that's, like, you know, identity theft or, like, I'm running around with somebody's ID who isn't mine. Well, oh, yeah, I guess that would be fraud. For, uh, mm-hmm. Fraudulent. I, damn, we did some wild shit, bro. You don't think about it now, and it's like, damn, bro. Like, fraud? That's but a I, very, the, that's like the big F word right there. You know, you're young. You're stupid. You know, you think it's cool. They're like, don't ever go to the liquor store and buy liquor with this. But they're like, you can use this to get in bars and stuff. So I'm like, okay. And there was time, there was a place in Georgetown, I think, that made IDs, but they weren't like, actual like ids they were like <laughs> first of all hold on <laughs> why are you going into this detail <laughs> well i, I, I hope I you're not going to be working for the government anytime <laughs> no no, okay. no 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 yeah yeah fuck the government <laughs> <laughs> all right so i mean uh, no, no, ba- basically no. though yeah um it was just it's just wild you know when you're young you're like 19 18 it's like okay i'm finally of legal age but what can you do there's yeah. nothing that you can do at that age and you're like i want to go out with my friends who are like 22 23 years old you know what you can do you can go into another country and die for your country, but you can't drink alcohol at 18. Yeah, it's pretty wild, man. Just staying. What oh, did we just say? Fuck the government. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Another story is um, my brother, Water's Edge. Remember Water's Edge? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was the place. So I had the fake idea at the time. I went with my brother. My mom's co-worker oh. was there, and she's like, she met my mom on Monday at work, and she goes, Hey, just so you know, I saw your daughter in Water's Edge, and that's like a 21 up play. <laughs> so then I finally came clean to my mom after I turned 21, and I go, Yeah, I have this fake idea. I've been drinking for two years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she knew because yeah. she's not an idiot, you yeah. know, but I think she just cared but not cared because she never ever said anything to me about it. Well, I mean, I never had a fake ID. I mean, my. My friend, oh, who you just will, walked in because you look old as fuck. Well, I, <laughs> sometimes maybe maybe that's what it is. The stress is just uh, aging me at a rapid pace. Um, nah, we never. I never had a fake ID. My buddy had his brother's ID, and he looked nothing like him, like nothing like him at all. And people would look at him and be like, "Oh, okay." And I'm thinking, like, "What the fuck?" And I'd look at it and look at him, and I don't know. People were silly, but we used to just sit in front of the, you know super highs in Lorton and try to just get Damn old heads. Old. Yeah, try yeah. to get old heads to buy us some mad dogs or whatever oh. it is. Yeah. They don't those don't even exist anymore. No, they I do. Was, do they? I was like in 7-Eleven I go. I don't see any MD 2020s. Nah, I don't drink it. No, they still ha- um well actually you know what I haven't looked recently. But I th- well they had it up at least until like a few years ago. Um I haven't been looking for it lately cuz I I will never touch that shit again. <laughs> No, nah, like, absolutely. That's fucking bum wine. What? <laughs> That's what it is. It's bum wine. Dude. I know, but when you're underage, yeah. like, there's the only thing to drink. It's like, oh, you want, yeah. you try to get different colors and thinking it's going to taste better, and it oh. tastes like absolute ass, oh. dude. You know, we used to kill, uh, uh, what's that shit? Uh, Starberry Hill Boons. <laughs> Boons. I don't even know what those I are. I know what that is. Then Bo- we, Boons is, it's like, it's wine, basically. I think it was wine. But anyway, yeah, we used to get those because. Uh, 
when I was gro- yeah, we would have the only thing we could get was was Mad Dog Twenty Twenty around here, or what was the other thing? I can't remember. Or what, what, just maybe a forty like a, or yeah, something, 40 40, or like something. a hurricane or two eleven. They still sell them at Seven Eleven. They're like a vodka orange juice mix. It's like a screwdriver. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah we you said yeah those two. Those I'm not really big on clear liquor. Only mm. certain ones I'll do. No, the but like so, I met. Um, some people from Sterling, like so, we used to go to Sterling all the time. Like, all right, like on the weekend or whatever, and meet up with a couple of buddies of ours, go to like house parties or whatever. So these Hasidity Sterling people, they they started drinking Boons. So like we started drinking Boons. It was like hey, instead of going to Seven Eleven to get that, we would get Boons or or what's that other shit? Wild, not Wild Turkey. Uh, um, what Johnny Bootlegger? No, is it is, that? Is it Wild Turkey? No, there's another one. Maybe it is wild turkey. I know, but it, I, man, they I got know. some shitty alcohol in. 7-11. Dude, it's Seven <laughs> Eleven. The best oh. thing in there is the Slurpee, and that's probably and terrible then, for you as well. What was it like when you're underage and you know somebody who can buy you alcohol, and all you're buying is like the Keystone Light and yeah. like the Natty? Yeah, <laughs> all the all the <laughs> pussy <laughs> shit, right? Yeah, yeah that's like, like yeah, drink, give me one of these. Drink the real shit. Like, like, yeah, you don't realize how shitty beer can be until like later. Oh, mm-hmm. I'm. I'm I'm highly aware. It's funny we were talking about PBR on on. Oh, yeah. I posted something on Facebook earlier, and somebody was like, "Yeah, we get, uh, they, they, they want to get their PBR or something." And I'm like, "Cause this person lives in uh, Atlanta." And I'm like, first of all, we don't have PBR at bars here." <laughs> like, no, no, no. At there all. It, there was one bar that I went around here that had it on draft. Really? I can't remember. It was like. I don't know mm-hmm. if they still carry it, but they had it on draft. But that's like that's like the highest quality, low quality beer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Pap Blue Rim. Yeah, just the mm-hmm. the name of it. But I I don't know. They don't even have like Budweiser on tap anymore around here, except for uh, probably Eddie's. I that's think cause it's cause like, really every, everything yeah. is the um is that freaking uh everything everything's like craft beer now. Yeah, everything. Obviously, you know, we go, to, Diddy. we go to Yard House and stuff, and it's like, I look at all the beers, and it's like, I probably had tried maybe like seven or eight of these, and then I don't know what the fuck anything else is, and it's like, is this good? Like, is well, this they, like... You can ask to try it. Yeah, I know, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel I know, like it's too much work. You're, yeah, no, it's, it's too much work. It's like, here, let me try all six of these and then get drunk off of like 14 don't of them. Don't they have flights, though? Mm-hmm. They yeah, do. they have flights. Oh, yeah, did you, you work there, didn't you? No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh no, that was uh, DMB. Yeah, I was at Dave and Buster's. So yeah. no, no, that's like the worst serving job I ever had. <laughs> Dude, ever. I don't even know how you could do something like that. Oh, it frustrated me so much because like kids would just be running around. You're running out of the kitchen with a big tray of food. You know, I'm talking about. You ever seen them? They're like yeah. these black mm. big trays, and you're carrying them on your shoulder, and it fits like ten plates. Here comes kids. Running right running past in you. in front of you. And like, you don't like, see these fucking plates, you Oh, my brat. gosh. Yeah, <laughs> so that would be, like, the most frustrating thing. It's like, I understand this is Dave and Buster's, but get a hold of your freaking children. Mm, yeah, oh, no. No. That's no. why they take them there, because they can run fucking wild. And yeah. get all that energy out and pass out at home. First of all, kids don't get energy out. No. <laughs> no <this is laughs> I have to. Oh, okay, oh, all right. No, 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 no. <laughs> my daughter refuses, my oldest one refuses to take a nap. She's five. Okay. And she is up at, like, 6 30 in the morning and does not lay her head down and fights me to go to bed at like 10 o'clock at night and i'm Damn. like get your behind in bed because school starts in two weeks for her and i'm like no 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 no. we're not we're not playing this game get your butt in the bed she doesn't want to go to sleep oh, like, ever and she's high energy 24 7 Damn, my yeah. little one well, sees her. You're, now. You're, you're talking me out of what we were talking about earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> my little one, who's two and a half, sees her, and I'm like, Adelie, you need to set a good example for Ayla because Ayla's watching everything you do. And now she's kind of refusing to take naps, and I'm like, you're two and a half. Like, yeah. you know? Like you should like, be tired all the time or something. Yeah. I don't know. I don't have children. <laughs> we, we know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for, for, for reiter- uh, reiterating that statement, sir. Reiterating. Re- no. Speaking of reiterating, like, share, and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Little little thing down she, here at the bottom. Like, yeah, no, yeah. She, well, we're, we're pointing to the button on, yeah. on YouTube. Oh, okay. <laughs> she, she's like, what well, the fuck have I got myself here, into? Guys. It's right here. <laughs> this little red box uh, Actually, here. from you is the other oh, side. Oh, well, sorry. There, 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 there you go. <laughs> See, now, now she's in on the joke. She's like, oh, my God. No, but have you seen – did you ever drop a tray, I guess, of food with kids? Or have you seen um, somebody get close to doing it? Or Yeah, I've actually broken plates of food. 
Oh shit. And um, it's it's horrifying. It's actually very embarrassing. I've spilled a glass of wine on a cl- a customer before. Oh, uh, that- it was red wine, and I think they were wearing white at the no. time. But they weren't mad. You know, it's like okay, like they were okay. I mean, if that happened to me, it'd be like if, if it if it was like a high end restaurant, then yeah, I'd be mad. But if I'm I'm at Dave and Buster's, obviously there's gonna be some shit happening. Oh, but I've worked at plenty of other restaurants. I say that's like my worst mm. experience in the serving industry, and that really set me to like want to quit serving. Man, I don't, <laughs> look, I, look, I watched a lot of serving throughout, like because when I was a door guy, like I I just watched everything that was going on. So I I saw all the shit that people had to go through, and that's like, ugh. that's why that to me is what changed my mind on on tipping because I didn't. People always say <laughs> it's it's kind you're of you're a bad that. tipper is what you're saying. No, no, people always say that black people are, are bad tippers, I've which is true. Only be no, I man, I, again, I've been in the industry. All right, <laughs> all right, <laughs> she, look, she, look, and I bet you she she will kind of uh, never mind. I'm not gonna put you in that position, <laughs> but. Yes, I've heard it before, and but I never wanted to be that person. So, like, well, after I saw the the shit that they have to go through, that's when I was like, all right, let me uh, go ahead and actually tip the way I'm supposed to be tipping. But at the same time, not all of them really know any better, so that's why they they do do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or half the time, they might not even have enough money to. They, they shouldn't be out. That goes back to what I posted on Facebook <laughs> earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you're at the bar, don't be checking your bank account, bro. Yeah, don't, that's don't, hilarious. Yeah. You should not have been I, out. Like, just That's all I'm saying. Yeah, well, we were around a weird crowd last night anyway, man. Oh, yeah, like, last it, night was weird Yeah, we, uh, th- we saw uh, a farmer, or two farmers, <laughs> okay? <laughs> These motherfuckers had overalls. Overalls, overalls, like the hat, everything, the handkerchief out, yeah. out of the back pocket. Just randomly sat down uh, at the bar, bobbing their head and shit. Maybe they're cattle rustlers. We don't know. Uh, okay, but where? <laughs> <laughs> We're in Springfield, man. <laughs> where was the last time you saw some fucking cattle over by the Springfield Mall or anywhere? I don't know. I mean, there's probably some areas, but not not in the immediate area. And then there was a guy that was dressed pretty much like a magician. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, <laughs> as well. And the, and he had the and whole, his, like, and ensemble. His, his wife looked like the assistant, for real. Well, yeah, but she was, like, she was like short and, like, limping. Like, it was like a circus act. Oh, I act. didn't see that. Oh, well, I saw them leave. Oh. Man, you were watching them like that? Well, they walked in front of me, so I'm going to look what's in front of me, you know. <laughs> just just, just think, about, think about it like this. If, if In the 1980s, if you were, like, a low-budget magician and you had a, a show that you were doing, like, that's what this guy looked like. He oh he, he had the little the tie the tuxedo with the the, the what's that a vest yeah it's Did like my the vest. Even wear vest what if they're just into like dressing weirdly and that's no, like a they, fetish of their do you lifestyle know, it's, <laughs> these are their clothes that they've had since nineteen eighty whatever and and this is probably the first time they've been out in a while that's that's what it looked like to me. You know, speaking of like that fetish stuff, or, well, hold on, hold on. Let me, fe- <laughs> let me fin- let me finish my 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 train of thought before you started, you know, saying weird shit to me. Um, so I was at work and just you know that's how they dress. I was seeing how so two of my coworkers they were one of them's a PE teacher uh, at a school here in Fairfax County, <laughs> and um, oh, go ahead. <laughs> wait, he's your coworker? No, these are my no. She's my coworker. She, there were uh, the cashiers and the and the people that work in the front. Oh, she's part time then. Oh, well, I mean, she works. Yeah, I guess. Oh, for the summer. Yeah, well, I don't know. I like, know. I'm. She's a teacher. Okay. All she, right. Okay. So anyway, she's a gym teacher. She sees uh, you know students. Okay. She sees and the, students. And she was talking about like, I don't even remember what it was, but it's like kids are dressing up like this in school nowadays. It's where they're like dressed up like as like animals, like like it's like all fuzzy and oh, shit. Oh, it's a fur, like a furry. Yeah, a furry. furry. That's, That's what it is. Called. Yeah, there's a there's co- whole fucking conventions on that. Yeah, thing. so I've never seen this shit before. So I'm like, okay, show it to me. You never watched G4 uh, Network, did you? Nah, dude, I haven't watched G4 in... Man, uh, there's whole... It's, yeah, see, see that, I don't know if it's on the G4 Network, but I think on Netflix there's, like, this show with people who have weird fetishes. But I, w- I don't watch like things like... like a furry, like, people yeah. who like to dress, like... I, I Would you call it, like, cosplay as, yeah. like, um, animals? Yep. Like, horses and stuff? Mm. Dogs? Like, it's so strange. And, and they, they do the full-blown shit. Like, mm-hmm. they, they have a trainer, and, and like, the, the dog ones. They'll have a trainer, and they sit, and they walk like dogs. They have their own leashes. They're, they're crazy shit. Well, yeah, so they're showing it to me, and I was like, wait, so 
they're walking around school dressed like this? And she was like, yeah. I was like, isn't there, like, some sort of, like, violation for wearing, like, a horse head or something? You know what I mean? <laughs> or, like, a rabbit face or something? Like, I would just, I mean, obviously we're getting older in fashion. You got to be all all inclusive now, man. Dude, what the fuck? That would trip me <laughs> out. I mean, dude, what, what did I wear in high school? I just wore, like, clothes that were, like, you know, three times. Too big. Too yeah, big. yeah, too big. And, you know, get a pair of drop socks and. We did the like the rubber band oh, around yeah, your and uh, the chucks. Yeah, the and the chucks. chucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, it's like, and I got the fat laces for mine too. It's like, let me take out these small ones and everything. So, I'm just looking at it, and I was like, bro, could you imagine being a teacher and you turn around and half your students are just like wearing some sort of <laughs> like that's fucking weird to me, what dude. That's, it's like it's like a cult. Like, nah, man. Motherfucker. And how could you let your kid <laughs> walk out of the house dressed like that, too, man? The fuck? <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly all right so that's that, that's my two cents on that i just discovered what this was and it completely weirded me out right, Scott. yes indeed so um how was your day how, who mine my, my yeah. day just started <laughs> yeah yeah no bullshit <laughs> been binge watching tv um oh. are you watching anything good on, on no TV? i'm uh, well i'm just re-watching lost so oh you're still on that yeah i mean i've been I'm just watching Man, an episode I could here go and there. through a, I could go through a series in three days. No. Th- do you sl- oh, you don't sleep. Seasons. Yeah, I don't sleep. Yeah, but there's like 23 episodes each season. Yeah. That, nah, man. Not me. <laughs> that you're watching basically 24-7? Nah, that, I couldn't do that. After a while, like if, I'm in my, like if I'm in my room for too long, I start to get like antsy. Like I got to get up and I got to move around and, and do something. If I just, if I lay there all day, I feel... I, I am on a new series. Uh, I don't know how new it is, but um, I found it on Netflix. It's called Un- The Undefeated. Okay. I don't know if anybody heard of it. Yeah. Um, it's basically, it takes place just after World War II in Germany. And this guy, he's a New York police, de- uh, police department officer. And he's assigned to over there to set up their the, the German's um, uh, police force. So it, I'm only on like episode two and it's one season out, but like it, so far I'm like I'm stuck because I, I like the time period and it's, I've never seen this perspective okay. on like the World War Two because nobody ever talks about what happened in Germany after World War Two. You know, you know what no, I'm saying? Okay, like okay, after gotcha. Hitler's gone and the Nazis are done and all that, like no one you you don't ever see that side of history, and that's why it's kind of interesting because. It was some crazy. It's some crazy shit going on. Like, yeah, no, I don't know. I, the undefeated on Netflix. Uh, the undefeated. All right, all right. What are you watching, Jessica? Um, currently, I am not watching anything. Um, I just watched. Was it? Uh, I fell asleep. I fall asleep so early these days. I'll put something on and I'm just like out, like snoring on the couch in like five minutes. Yeah, that was me this whole week. I was my, nine o'clock. I'm. My <laughs> days are early because yeah. you know I wake up at four a.m. like oh. Monday through Friday. Because I train, well, you know, and let's, let's, yeah, we uh, wanted to get, get into, into that. Yeah, we wanted to get into so that. So, what are you doing these days? Um, I am currently a personal trainer, um, and I absolutely love it. I found my passion and drive again for life, and it's amazing. How long have you been doing it? Um, personal training. I got my certification in May, so about roughly five months. Oh, nice. Did it take you a long time to, I guess, get in? I guess, get certified, so to speak. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, so you can go at your own pace. Um, I got certified through ISSA. Okay. Um, and there's other places you can get certified. You can do it online, which I took my courses online at home. It took me about three months. Mm. Um, so it wasn't too bad. Um, but you know, when you have children running around, yeah, <laughs> it's it, it, you actually picked the perfect time to do it, um, uh, uh, during the pandemic, like, like you got something out of it. Like, so yeah, I guess. That does make sense what you were saying earlier, how, how like, 2020 was, like, your best year. <laughs> like I'm like, my, my year was shitty. So, she was like, yeah, I had a great year. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say it was my best year. Mm. I mean, it was, but it wasn't. I mean, I truly found my identity and my myself and my self-worth and my value as a person. Where That's awesome. Working in the serving industry, I didn't. Um, you know, I was very lost. Um, I don't know if you all believe in God, you know, I or universe you know people have different beliefs oh, different we gods. believe in a lot of shit on this show so. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, believe, we believe in fucking sasquatches and shit yeah so <laughs> oh i'm sh- i know that they exist <laughs> oh They're shit all right there, here yeah. we go yeah now we're getting really tuned in all right um but yeah i i would say i i wouldn't say i 
lost my Christianity or God, but it just wasn't a big part of my life. And now it's a huge part of my life. Um, that time in 2020, it forced me to take a look at myself in the mirror. You know, I was um, 252 pounds after my children. I gained a lot of weight. I was very depressed. I drank a lot of alcohol every single day. One morning, I just woke up and was like, I'm so tired of this, you know, and you have to have a mindset of you're going to change your life. You know, when you decide to go into that fitness um, realm and journey, it's a whole lifestyle change. Mm -hmm. It's not just something that you go in and you do one time, excuse me, and you're finished. You know, Um, one month you may want to work on this or two months you may want to work on this. Um, You know, my goal was just to lose weight. And I, at the beginning, I didn't take it serious. I was like, probably not going to last. You know, this is, I don't know. I always fail. I always fail every time I say I'm going to lose weight, you know, and I took it day by day. I was like, okay, so for the next two months, my goal is to lose 10 pounds. Okay. 10 pounds came. Next goal, another 10 pounds. Another 10 pounds came off. Same thing. I kept doing it for months. And then like a year later, I lost 60 pounds. Nice. Thank you. Do we have a clapping one? Uh, one that yeah, claps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. We, we're going to clap for you. Well, well, that, and then we got this one, too. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> no, no. No, but that's... Yeah, this is long as shit. Yeah, that one is actually... Is. Okay. I thought it was going to keep I, going. And I can say that it's been an easy journey. You know, um, it's been a lot of failure, but a lot of success um, has come along with it. Um, but I would say support is very hard. You know, you have people who see from the outside and they don't understand like the struggles of really what you go through on an everyday basis. So I try to tell Um, people every day. Yeah. When you decide to change your lifestyle, some people may not agree with it. Some people may agree with it, Mm. you know, so you need a strong support system, a foundation, but also believing in yourself is like the main thing. If you don't believe in yourself, you don't have a good mindset. You, you're not going to accomplish what you set your mind to. I I 100% agree. Um, like I, I, I kind of talk about this before, like, um, actually when we had Sadiq on and I, I, I try to tell people like they don't realize how much I get upset when people boo fighters when they're, when they're in, in the cage or whatever. And they're, they're they don't see what they want to see, but I, I don't, these people don't realize what these people go through on a day to day basis to get to that level. And then you're going to sit there and fucking boo them. Like, so, so it's, I guess all that to say, uh, people don't, like you said, don't know what's going on in people's lives. But a lot of people who tell you who, who are like aren't aren't supportive or say, "Oh, that's not going to work." Those are the ones that they're upset at themselves because they can't do it. And there's a lot of shit that, yeah, there's a lot of people who listen to everybody else instead of, like you said, believing in yourself and listening to your own self. Once you believe in yourself, that's the bottom. Yeah, that's the that's bottom key. one. Um, another thing is too is um, I at the beginning of my journey, I would, I didn't wake up at four a.m. You know, um, it had a conflict. You know, I was working on the evenings, and then I started doing two a days. So I would do, hit workouts in mid afternoon. Then I would go to my friend's basement and train with weights. I did not want to go to the gym. I was so fearful of stepping foot in the gym because I was overweight. And I was like, oh, my gosh, people are so judgmental. Mm -hmm. Like, it's scary. Like, it's very scary, you know. And even when I decided to, I was scared because of COVID, you know. I'm like, "Mm, gyms recently opened. My girlfriend, she's like, Jess, you know, you have everything about you. She's like, personality, beauty. She's like, you're such an amazing person. She's like, if you get this starting to go and work out, you know, she's like, your life can change forever. I didn't believe her. Mm. I was like, I kept contemplating with myself. That like, was oh. that was a secret angel. That yeah, was. <laughs> I know. She is. She is. Um, and then, like, a month later, I'm like, you know what? I think I'm finally ready. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go for it. And I haven't stopped. And now, like I said, it was a conflict because my fiancé would – go to work and then he'd want to work out. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go to the gym in the morning so you can work out in the evenings. So then um, I would start doing two a days. Weight just continuously to fall, fall off. And then I'm like, you know what? I absolutely love working out. And I was like, hmm, 
I think it's time for me to get my certification in personal training. And I'm like, it's a great idea. Mm. I actually wanted to do, um, which I'm, I'm also certified in nutrition as well. That was the main thing that I wanted to do was nutrition. And mm. then everybody's like, you work out all the time. So why don't you just be a personal trainer? I'm like, how I never about, really thought about it. Well, how about I do both? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> a but twofer. Then, the main thing is, too, is people don't understand, like, it's really 95% of what you intake in your body and 5% of, like, gym. Mm-hmm. Um, because if you're not taking care of your body, like, properly and, and taking the proper foods that you need um, to get the nutrients, your body's not going to change. You know, you can work out as much as you want, but if you are not taking in the right amount of, you know, there's so much things. There's a lot of breakdown. It's not just about calories. It's macros. Mm-hmm. All that goes into partake of how you want your body to look, what goals you're trying to accomplish, um, things like that, of that nature. Yeah. Yeah. Um, dude, you're super badass. Thank you for coming <laughs> over. <laughs> Thank you. Now, normally we just talk about, like, wrestling and dork no, shit. But this no, is, this no, is no cool. first of all, we don't <laughs> usually just talk about wrestling. No, you I, I talk usually about talk wrestling, about wrestling. But that's super badass. I, I, that is that is awesome. We we support you. Thank and you so you, much. You're very, very welcome. Uh, I Speaking of nutrition, I, re, I, I yesterday, I had a very productive week. But yesterday I went and bought a bunch of uh, vitamins because I, I haven't been eating – the way I should be anyway recently uh, just because I don't know it's like I said earlier life is moving in ways I'm thinking about quantum physics right there oh <laughs> shit okay <laughs> um, so yeah it, life is doing whatever it's doing so I'm not eating the right shit so I'm like yo I need to at least be supplementing something to, to get what I need so I went and bought um, I don't know I, I bought a bunch of shit I got did I get oh yeah I got magnesium which we don't get enough of unless we have like green leafy stuff. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to, I need magnesium and I got, uh, what else did I get? I got fish oil, which I got like triple action fish oil because actually she was on uh, Joe Rogan. I'm, I'm, I know I'm all over the place, but she was on Joe Rogan's podcast recently. Dr. Rhonda Patrick. I've talked about her before. Yeah. She's a, um, a microbiologist, but anyway, so she talks about a lot of stuff. Um, she's always been into, uh, like, she talks about all the vitamin D as far as COVID. Like, people, not, most of the people who are, like, 90% of people who had bad complications or died from COVID or had low vitamin D levels. And then she also talks about omega-3s. For guys, like, they did a study um, on a soccer team. They had them, like, take omega like 3000 milligrams of um of uh vitamin d no no uh omega 3s for like 3 months and their testosterone went like through the roof oh wow so like i was like yo i got to get my fish oil up <laughs> 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 give me all of it oh, by the scooping way, it off fish oil if you take it like uh before you go to bed after you drink you won't have a hangover the next morning Oh, shit. Well, you told the wrong group of people. <laughs> I guess I'll be taking a lot of fish oil well, lately. Nah. Um, with, uh, I guess, you were talking about, like, diet and everything. Like, did yours, like, change drastically? Like, Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, I, you know, I'm not going to say I'm perfect. I allow myself a couple of cheat meals a week, which, you know, if my... Um, if my trainer hears this, she's going to kick my no, butt. No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. She'll never know. She, she probably won't watch um, this anyway. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would say, you know, I was eating 80-20, which is majority, like, healthy foods. And I was allowing myself cheat meals. But because I'm now downright serious with getting my bodybuilding together. 90-10. <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> Yes, but uh, it, it's supposed to be like 100%, you know, oh, what yeah. I eat on a daily basis. So my breakfast consists of a protein and now a vegetable, actually. Yeah, yeah. my lunch consists of a protein and brown rice, two cups of brown rice. My dinner consists of a protein and a vegetable. So if I want that cheat meal, I'll eat clean for like three or four days straight and I'll drop one cheat mm-hmm. meal in. Uh, my workouts are extremely intense right now as well. Um, so every couple of weeks, I'll switch up my routine. So right now I'm doing hamstrings. I've been doing hamstrings for like two months almost, but I can tell my body, my cardio has upped, and I'm getting ready to run 
um, actually September 12th, I'm going to do a 5K, which is three miles. Oh, nice. And I'm not a runner. So that's pretty much of a challenge that, for me. Where, 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 <laughs> where's the Marine Corps going, right? Um, this is the Cherry Blossom. My um, One of my clients actually got me to do it. Mm. So she is going to do it as well. Um, we're going to run. Um, this is in D.C. I'm yeah. not sure where, but it's in D.C. Dude, that's... Yeah. Yeah, I'm not running no fucking 5K. <laughs> Fuck that. Dude, <laughs> I, I hate running. Dude, running, so let me tell you something. When I when we were in high school. Yeah, what like, happened to your suicides? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, that. Um, but, um, you know, we used to have to run the mile, right, in gym and everything. And Which I've, is bullshit. Shit. Like, now looking back on it, my mile ain't shit. <laughs> it's not. It's only four laps around that. <laughs> Man, we were looking at that shit like, God damn. Like, you don't make like, me run – this early in the morning, like what the fuck? Yeah, and you know what's crazy is I did have gym at the crack of dawn. It'd Me be too. Like, it'd be like forty degrees outside in your gym shorts. That was a home run. Yeah. One year I had a home a home room was a fucking gym. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so I remember. I think it was it's probably like my junior. I think it was my junior year. And I was like, you know what? I was like, I want to get a good time on the mile this year. <laughs> now I don't know. Like it just like dawned Where upon is me. It? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Don't you hit me with the buttons. No. Okay, so anyway, so anyway, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to prepare myself for this, all right? <laughs> I was. I fucking hate you. Jessica, no, you're fine. You're, you're fine. Garrett's just a fucking D-bag. Uh, but anyway, so for about a week and a half, I would, when I lived in Lorton, I'd run from the top of Poet Road all the way down to Gunston Plaza and back. Oh, wow. And I did oh, you it. You took the hill? Man, you tripping. Yeah. <laughs> When, wow. Bro, when I got back up to the top of the hill, I was just laying in the grass next to the old generator right behind the wall. The real, only real Lorton cats will know did what you, I'm talking um, about. Did you go to South County? I did not. I went to Hayfield. Okay. Um, I lived in Lorton, too. So um, my mom actually lives in Lorton right now. So I'm from Lorton. Which um, part? Which the L.O. I know. Um, so uh, do you know where the shoppers used to be? Yeah, of course. Across the street in those apartments. Oh, like, oh yeah, yeah. So oh, yeah, yeah. There. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, sweet. Well, TMI, I should not be putting my mom on blast yeah, right now. I was, I was like, wait a minute. Don't, don't. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's mama, you know. No, but, um, yeah, nobody. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm from Lorton. I um, I actually went to, well, I lived in Springfield, and then we moved to Lorton. Okay. When it wasn't built. Do you guys remember that one bridge? First of all. The yeah. one little teeny tiny uh, you're, bridge. You're, you're, you're what, asking like an ancestor first of, all, of Lorton. Yeah, first of all. <laughs> guys, it's old as shit. You know. <laughs> I've been in Lorton for a long time. Let's see. When do we, we moved up? I was in Richmond. I was in fifth grade when we moved up, and we moved to um, over at Newington Commons um, that, down Silverbrook. And so I've been in Lorton, and then we got another house where my mom is now. Um, so I've been in Lorton since mm, early 90s. Wow. So, yeah. I, like, Shoppers wasn't there. Mm-mm. There um, used to be a James Way down in the – I mean, this is probably before – like, I grew up in Lorton, too, so, mm-hmm. like uh, – that, that We talked about that house that was up um, – up on, uh, on what on, one. Yeah, the, the, the shop. The, yeah, the, the shop. Korean, there used to the be Korean. Bozelli's. That's where Bozelli's, yeah. right? That, is yeah. that what you're talking about? Bozelli's well, no. moved. It was, well, even before mm-hmm. Bozelli's. Um, there was like a little corner store on the corner of like Richmond Highway and Poic Road, and it looked like a like a house. Yeah, and you go inside, and it's just a convenience store, and it, 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 it had like a little Korean people. Right now. Yeah, yeah, and and if you walked in like one of the aisles, like it had a little like hill yep. in the in the aisle. Man, oh, this is like wow. su- yeah, I'm super old, dude. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! It was it was like an old town country. It, like it, think about it, like before Route One. Like if it was dirt roads back in the day, yeah, that's the type of house it was, and it, they're like it should. Oh, you know what's gonna blow your mind? Um, they're gonna put a ski resort. You know what's crazy? The, like the where the trash, where the landfill, yeah, is, where the landfill yeah. is, yeah, over there. Like an indoor ski resort. What, the, what, what, like, what kind of shit do humans oh, and fucking I, I do? I read something like many years ago that they're thinking about holding the Olympics. I don't know what year it's gonna be. Like maybe twenty thirty. They're Lorton? gonna hold the Olympics in Lorton. What the, the fuck? Winter Olympics. I'm leaving. All right, dude. If the <laughs> dude, I'm officially out of this earth. Yeah. If the if the Olympics are held in Lorton, Virginia, bro, yeah. I am I'm 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 fucking done. Yeah. I'm gonna be the first person in line to say this is some fucking bullshit, man. I read an article. It was like it had to be a like maybe it had to be like eight years ago that I, mean, I read this article. I mean, they, so. no, I've, I've I've heard of it as well. Mm-hmm. So it's pos- I mean, they they would have to win the bid for that year 
I mean, oh man, I definitely, I, I can't live there. And I was, I was talking to my parents comes. about this last week, and I go, this is, this was a small little like town. Yeah. And now it's very suburban and urban. Yeah. And now well, they my to. parents are trying to actually move out of the area because yeah. they're like, in five more years from now, can you imagine what it's going to look like? Like, and mm-hmm. how much it's going to change more so than what it already has. Yeah. Dude, it's not going to. Remember when Lorton Station. I know you said you grew up, but I'm like, when Lorton Station literally was just woods. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No. And then where my mom lives, it was an apartment complex. It was built on like a swamp. Yep. Yep. Like, and Lorton's all swampy. And those, um, those condos that are further up, like where the mm-hmm. shell is. I think the shell was there all that time. I can't remember. No, no. The shell that was on this side. What? Was always there. what at the top of the hill? Like if yeah. you're going well, down. Well, there's two. There's yeah. a one at the, like at the bottom just before. Yeah. Which by ninety five? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. That one's been there forever. Then there's a, the other one that they when they put all the other stuff over there. Like none of that stuff was over there. Um back then. Like that was all corn. That's when the prison was there. Yeah. yeah. Well and the prison is oh, fucking houses putting, now. Now they're putting um they're gonna open a town center over there. They're building a uh, town center uh, over there. In, inside the yeah, like right over in that area. It's so crazy. Have you have you been over there recently? Uh, no, I I've, haven't. I've walked um, like during the pandemic, we were doing a bunch of walks, and there's a, a trail nearby there, and we walked up through the like. I mean, there are houses, but it still looks like a fucking prison. Like, and these houses are like six hundred thousand. Yeah, they're expensive as <laughs> yes. But it, they can't take kisses. that prison out because that one part of the prison is like. Um, it's historical. Historical, yeah. yeah. So they can't they can't take it out. It's like the only thing that's the only one that's left in the United States, I think. Bam. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that yeah part. no, yeah. no. Yeah. I yeah, I remember God, man, I remember when Gunston Plaza, it was just like bare, dude. And there was the James Way where the Dollars Tree Damn, was. It yeah. James Way. James Way, yeah, man. And then uh Damn. God, there was another one. My first job was in that McDonald's right there. Really? And just even, yeah, so. You uh, look like the type. Well, <laughs> do you know what's even worse? It's probably like. Fuck my order up before. No, no, no. I was probably, <laughs> probably too stoned to care. Um, oh, yeah. Self incrimination. Don't do it on this show, folks. Um, but anyway. Um, no, but even when I drive through there and I just see, like, how advanced the McDonald's has become and just how so much it's changed, like, just something little like that. And just like the new shops in there, and you know, super highs being I gone. Think I was here when that that McDonald's wasn't there when I was when I first. Maybe they there. built it. I no, mean, no, no, that, that was later. It came it, later. It came later. Okay, because yeah. I went to elementary school. I didn't go to Gunston, um, like a lot of the, my friends that lived out there did. Um, I went out to I went to Saratoga. Me too. Okay, yeah. yeah, I went there too. You went. So do you know? So wait, wait. This is blowing my mind now. So, who was your okay? Who were your teachers in Saratoga, uh, if you can remember? Oh my god! I'm just, I'm just asking <laughs> a simple question. Miss, um, oh gosh, Miss Panic. Miss Panic was one of my teachers Panic. too. Yeah, uh, Panic. Miss Smith was my sixth Mi- grade teacher. Miss Smith. Oh yeah, yeah. dude. Miss Smith. <laughs> Panic. Yeah. Was she? Did she have short short hair? Miss Panic. I think. Oh, what was her? It was Boss Bossler. I Bossler. think. Bossler, yeah. I think she Panic was a went witch. to. I think Panic she, was my fifth grade teacher, and she went to Silverbrook. No, no, I'm no. saying she ended oh. up. I think she was at because I'm you, pretty did, sure. You know, like Mr. Craig and Mr. Kraus and yeah. Miss Tangora. Mm-hmm. I remember them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah, I I, I had like Mrs. Zukas, Miss Beaver. God, I remember all my. <laughs> well, Yo. I would have made fun of her all dude, day. First of all, I would, dude, she was a sweet lady, okay, and I didn't know the that beavers were associated with certain things at that age. Oh I, all I all I cared about was my Power Rangers lunchbox and you know my light up sneakers. Um, but do you know Miss uh, the the woman that worked in the clinic, uh, Miss Jimmo? Oh yeah, she uh, actually yeah. Miss Hopkins was Ms. my fourth grade teacher. Miss Hopkins is and badass. She married her, her son. son. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. The reason I what? Know, yeah, yeah, so I know. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Rewind. Did I did I miss something? Say who married to her son? Miss Hopkins. My she married her own teacher. son. No, 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 no. no. Miss oh. Jimmo. Jimmo. Oh. No. Miss Jimmo, the nurse's son, <laughs> got married to, to Miss Hopkins. Uh, yeah. Okay. And that and you know what's crazy is is the reason I went to Saratoga That's is because my uh, my mom and dad worked so early. So I went to the children's world that was right there, uh, like 
right there, like before the shopping center. Yeah. And Miss Gemma was one of our teachers after school. And I, I mean, she basically like raised me. Um, so yeah, I remember her son and Miss Hopkins coming, you know, seeing a teacher outside of school. It's like, what the fuck? You know, like you didn't know what was going on. It is weird. You see, you seeing students outside of school because I, I used to sub in then after school program. Um, so that it's like, you see kids that you like basically teach it or, or, watched after school and then it's like somewhere else and it's like oh, I don't fucking want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. It's like when it's like when you see like it's like the first time I saw some of my Hayfield teachers like at at Lucky's. <laughs> it's like man, like they taught me now oh, they're watching. You mean me. my man I'm not gonna say nah, that. Getting, it's like, what well, are you doing here, RJ? It's like, well, I'm here to get, well, you know, fucking hammered. You know? What, are, what are you doing here? Talking no, fucking, shit about your students? No, teachers get fucked up. Do you know what's crazy? When you think about it, I, I've always seen this meme, but it's you know like, why you know, they get fucked up? Them students. Them fucking kids. Mm-hmm. They're so brats. stressed out. <laughs> First of all, I was, I, w- I was a good student until, no, I was always a good student. I just did dumb shit. Mm. Th- that's not a good student. Oh my gosh! I um, oh, I really? was my freshman year of high school. I was, You're I bad. was bad. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. like I mean, yeah. I mean, I've done some pretty dumb shit. I once faked a seizure in my biology <laughs> class. <yeah. laughs> and please uh, do tell. Okay, so um, <laughs> to uh, to the local legendary wrestling coach um, here at Hayfield. Oh yeah! Uh, Shout out it, to Coach Hill. Yeah, Coach Hill. What's up, man? Um, he was, I guess on vacation or he was away and we had a substitute teacher and this was when I was in the ninth grade. I want to get him on here. That would be great, dude. That would be, uh, that would be awesome. Um, somebody was like, Hey RJ. I was like, what's up, man? They were like, they were like, would you fake a seizure in front of the, and I was like, man, that's stupid as fuck. <laughs> I was like, I was like, one, why did you even think of that? And why are you pointing at me to do it? So, so, oh natu- so wait a minute. I don't so, know how the conversation. So came. someone, okay. So you don't remember the whole conversation because if you if someone said, "Hey, why don't you do this?" and you thought it was stupid, then why would you do it? Because I don't know. He was just he was like, "It'll be funny." And he I sold was like, you on a fucking pipe yeah, dream. yeah. I was I was like, "Well, I was like, eh, fuck it, why not?" You know, let's just make a memory, right? <laughs> so, oh, it's a memory, all right. So I I go up to the. Oh man, dude! I am so sorry to anybody I've ever caused any you know oh mental gosh. distress to. Please go, go, go. So I, I go up to the desk and I'm like leaning over and I'm like I'm, I was like I'm not feeling well and then I literally just like hit the fall back and just start like shaking on the floor, dude. The and then fuck? he just kind of peeped his head over and he was like, "Are you done?" And I was like, "Yeah." And then I just got up and walked out of class. Oh my gosh! And fucking uh, oh my god, Wait, dude. who I, was this? I, I can't. No, nah, it was a sub that I'd never seen before. Oh. It's, it wasn't like a regular sub that I, you know, <laughs> had, had in other classes. And I, oh. would, I would say the next day, Coach Hill was in. He was like, "Mr. Steinbacher." Oh, he was like, he heard about it. Yeah, you. yeah. He was like, uh, after everybody leaves, would, would you like to stay for a moment? I was like, no. <laughs> Cause I, was, I, was, I was like, because I was like, because I know I'm in fucking trouble. And, and he, he said, he said, listen, he said, if you like three uh, theatrics, he said, I suggest taking drama. He said, <laughs> and then he said, I'll see you after school. And I was like, fuck. So I got, you know, I got detention and I had to help him do some shit. Uh, but clean, he clean snake shit up. Oh, dude! Did I can't you clean the walls ever at school? I, I got did. Attention I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've I cleaned the walls. Too. I've. Oh my gosh. I did the Saturday school shit where um, it's just detention, where you just sit there. Yeah. You're not allowed to talk. And they give you the newspaper, and then that's it. Have you ever been? Uh, I forgot. In middle school, I got in school suspension. And that was like the worst. I would have rather been like suspended from school. No, I've, no, like, I don't. Oh think yeah, I've I'd rather school. stay home. Uh, no, I think I, I got suspended one time, and it wasn't even my fault. Like, I just happened to be with the people who were doing it. <laughs> like guilty by association. Mm-hmm. I, I had a buddy. I had a couple of buddies. Like, like we were like best friends. It was like two, uh, three of us. And like after lunch, we all had lunch one time at the same time. So after lunch, we one of the people would go on this same door and, and knock on the teacher's door, and then we'd run. So, <laughs> yeah. so like we're disrupting disrupting their fucking class every fucking day at dude. the same time. Damn, so then dude. we got caught, and it was a whole shit. They brought us in the principals. It was like some cop shit. Like they had us. I can't remember the principal's name. She was uh whatever the uh was that ninth grade or tenth grade? Maybe tenth grade. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, we got in trouble, and I ended up getting suspended for one day just for being there. No, I got suspended once. It was for like two days. It's like a like a fight, and we just got involved with it, and then yeah, then I got. You know, oh, you got involved with it, huh? I did. 
RJ's out here fucking throwing hands and shit. <laughs> oh, dude, this is this is like when I had like my fucking. This is like when I first bought my Tims. Like, can we fight in brand new Tims? <laughs> I know. Who yeah, would? No, nah, it was it was dumb. I mean, everybody you know reconciled like afterwards and whatnot. But yeah, it got suspended. <laughs> fucking kids. I yeah, swear. yeah, stupid, right? So they were like, "This is where peer mediation comes in." I was like, "What the fuck is that?" And like, you know, no, I don't know what that is. And I actually ended up taking that class a few years later. Um, and we would go over to Hatefield uh, Elementary and like do like some performance art for the kids and stuff. It was a pretty cool class where you get to like. Talk about like your feelings and stuff, oh you know. God, I don't go know. Again. I'm not. I'm not going to talk about my, my feelings. peer mediation class. Uh, yeah, dude, it was dope. We'll talk about our feelings. <laughs> wrote, wrote, wrote poems and all sorts of shit. Oh, okay, right. poetry. Hold up, it's literature. Oh, no, God. you know what? I'm not even going to give you that because you're right. It is literature. It's literature. I'm a Shakespeare guy, so nah, not at all. And I did take drama. I did, I <laughs> you know, it's crazy. At thinking about it now, I kind of wish I did. Oh, it was fun. Yeah, like. I just like I, you were considered. I I, th- I think I said this before too. Like you were considered a nerd if you did drama back then. Well, I didn't look at it as a nerd thing. It's just I think I was more kind of like insecure. I was like shy about it. Well, that, yeah, yeah, I mean? because you would get talked about. Like, oh, look yeah, at the drama like, nerd over there. Like, I don't know who the fuck that is. Hey, but guess what? A lot of those motherfuckers are doing movies or working on movies or something. But. I know. That's why. In hindsight, I wish I would have done it. I don't know if I do it now. You're doing it now. Well, well, this is true. This is a. Yeah, this is a platform. Okay. Yeah. So, see, <laughs> one up to those motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> no, but high school was fun and wild, and now we're here. And back to Jessica now. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you actually, speaking of theater and being on film and television, you were recently um, on the news. <laughs> yeah, I actually was. For ABC real? ABC 7, yeah. Uh, unemployment. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You got to tell the story. So, um, let's see. Where do I start? That's fine. We, all we got is time. <laughs> <laughs> start, um, I don't know. So, co- you know, COVID, COVID yeah. happened, and um, I had lost my job. I was in the serving industry, and I was like, holy crap, you know. Um, how am I going to pay my bills? You know, I work, you know, for a living, like everybody else. Um, and I was like, oh, my gosh, what is going on? Like, we can't go back to work, you know. COVID hit everybody so hard. Mm. And I'm like, I'm depressed. I'm drinking every single day, like multiple bottles of alcohol at this point in my life. I'm like, what can you do? Well, we were all drinking. At the beginning, I was fucking going in. Well, yeah, dude, everybody's, well, I was one of the fortunate people where I was still working, but it, because I worked in, you know, food, but not in like a, well, I guess my pizza place is considered a restaurant, but it's not like dine in, sitting, and and things of that. The thing is that blew my mind is like, they were saying that essential workers were like people who were working at McDonald's and people who were in other fast food restaurants and other in other restaurants. And I go, that's crazy to me. I'm like, essential would be like a nurse or a doctor or somebody in like pediatrics, mm. things like that. Um, no, they got that the low. My, that blew my mind. Also, the Walmart workers, Target workers, grocery store workers, yeah. like those uh, mechanics. Things like that. I was like, holy crap. Like, that's essential. Like, it's really essential. I mean, I understand, but I'm like, it's not that essential. Like, essential is people who It was are, essential to keep the economy of Virginia going. Yeah. Well, you were in... I'm in Maryland. Oh, yeah. So, so well, either way... The it was area. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. essential to keep the, the economy going. That's that's pretty much what they were trying to... But it crashed the economy. I mean, yeah. literally, everything was down. Mm. I mean, and it's still... We're not still f- recovered. I didn't even know if we're ever going to recover. I mean, COVID's still going on, the variant. But, um, you know, I called. I kept going to the unemployment line. Nothing. Um, they finally sent me a letter, like, weeks after and was like, this is what you're going to get. Um, and then, you know, they give you also, like, an allowance because you have if you have children or whatever. So they give you another amount of money. So then um, somebody called me and was like, yep, this is your set thing. So couple months went by still didn't hear anything i'm calling the unemployment line i'm like what is going on can't get through they're hanging up on you i'm sending emails can't get through i'm like okay you know what i'm gonna go to the news i'm like you know maybe this is gonna help somebody else get to what they need as well um so then i reached out to scott taylor he got back to me and was like yeah i'm doing a story on this like tomorrow he's like well interview and i was like awesome so then he interviewed me a week later i got my unemployment 
Dude, that's you know it's crazy. We had, we uh, we have a friend who worked in Maryland, um, and he was having the the the, the exact same issue that you were talking about. He's, he was still up until recently. He's still been having issues with it. Yeah. So yep. you're yeah. So I'm, but it's pretty fucking crazy how you have to really step on toes to get something to provide to to help you live. Yeah. You know. You know. Overall, so I yeah. It's all. It's all, tell, fuck, was, it's all bullshit. Sometimes I was too. telling her um, earlier. Uh, before you came down, uh, I was telling her like I was sitting with my mom because we she watches the news like twenty four seven, and I was it was Channel Seven News on, and I looked over it, and I was like, "Wait a minute, I know her." <laughs> and I was like, "That shit was crazy." It was it was just weird because you don't normally expect to see somebody you know like for a long time just randomly on TV. It was so stressful, you know, and like, I'm like, you know, I know I'm not the only person that's like this right now. I'm like, there's probably thousands and thousands and thousands of other people who need their unemployment just as bad as I do. I'm like, I work every single day or at the time, you know, I worked like maybe four days, five days a week. It didn't matter. I was still having an income come in. Work stopped. So income completely stopped. I'm like, what am I going to do? How am I going to feed my kids? You know? Things like that, you know, that you don't want to talk about because that's, you know, private. Yeah. But it's yeah, like, yeah. okay, well, this is reality. Then the drinking set in even more. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Then I'm like, what am I going to do? I'm like, I don't want to go back. Economy started opening. Then they made you wear a mask. Still wearing a mask. You know, Virginia, not so much anymore. But Maryland, the mask mandate's back in. D.C., mask mandate is back in. Um, and then it was still rough because people don't want to go out to eat. But the people who were going out to eat were still tipping um, pretty well, you know. Um, so this, I went back to work in, I think it was like July of um, 2020. Oh, okay. I went back to serving. Mm. And then I was on my weight loss journey. And I was lost 25 pounds. So I was like, you know what? I just cannot. This doesn't serve me a purpose anymore to yeah. be in this industry anymore. I'm like, I'm not happy here. Um, and I was working at the National Harbor at that time at okay. a little restaurant hole in the wall called Fiorella. It was a pizza place, a little Italian place. Gosh, their pizza is so good. Wait you a minute. Wait. Is that, that's the one. Is it right? Um, damn. I'm uh, always down for good pizza. You're talking so to the right guy. Is it the one the right that's guy. right across from, like, the pink ro- What's that? That rose? Uh, yep, yep. It's right underneath them. Ro- uh, Rosa Mexicana. Yeah, it's yeah. It's right underneath. Okay. Yeah, I, their pizza is fucking amazing. I ha- yeah. I've eaten there before. Like, it, we... My cousin was in town one time, and he had his, his kids, and we stopped there to eat, and like, cause that was the only thing that wasn't busy. Yeah, we walked in. Man, that shit. That look, their pizza is fucking Oven phenomenal. Pizza. All right, so yeah. good. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna have to travel to this place because I'm somewhat of a connoisseur after bro my good. longevity in that business. You oh, speaking eat. speaking of pizza, I've had. Um, I've been eating a lot of Bozellis because they deliver lately. <laughs> so What's up, Mike? <laughs> uh, I've been eating a lot of Bozellis. And, uh, yeah, uh, their pizza's good, pretty good. It's pretty good there. All right. I got to get some, some wine there. Some wine? Yeah, I'm not a wine person. Like, wine, I just, is, wine is much like better it. than... I'm sure. Or liquor. Oh, you know, uh, speaking of wine, Stella Rosa is where it's at if you haven't had it. Stella Rose. Stella Rosa wine. Where is that? So they infuse it. You can buy them like, uh, well, I live in Maryland, so they sell the bottles at like, but they're infused with fruits, uh, so they don't taste like normal wine. They taste like fruit wine, and ooh. it is like the bomb. Stella dot Rosa. Com. Yeah, I'm gonna check that out. Uh, get you like red or white wine? Red. I'm a, a um, was it Cabernet Sauvignon? Oh, you might not like. It. These are sweet though. Do you like sweet wines or more no, dry? No, it's more dry. Okay, smoky. so these are sweet. So you may not like them, but they're yeah, I don't really, really do good. Sweet. Like well, whites, I don't, I don't do too much white. Yeah, my wines. mom's more of a my mom's a big wine person, so she uh, may enjoy those. So you may yeah, want to pick yeah, up our yeah. Bottle. So, but she she does. She's mostly a red wine, uh, you know, kind of person. But then every now and then there'll be like a white in there. It's just like Your mom's Italian, right? Yeah, yeah, that, that Ital- makes Ital- sense. Italian and Polish. Well, th- th- that's why she likes wine. <laughs> no, well, that's probably why I like everything that I like. Too. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it, the shit's good, man. Well, it depends. Yeah, I know. And they got the emoji for it now, too. I saw that. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Really? yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got this. I texted somebody last night. And I was like, you know, I wanted to say it with authority. And I was like, give me something different. And I saw it. And I was like, ah! you know, like with the, with, the, with the little finger clamps and everything. That shit is sick, dude. I like it a lot. Um, so then I left Fiorella and 
I started working out even more. And then um, I got my certification. And I actually was had like one client before I got my certification. And then after I got my certification, I started advertising my business. Um, I don't have that many clients right now, but hopefully it'll start picking up soon. Speaking of that, uh, I, I can't remember if you, t- do you, do you still don't have a site. Uh, oh, I don't have a website, Yeah, but um, I do advertise on Instagram. Okay. Um, and then I also post on Facebook okay. as well. You, um, do, you do boosts? What like, do you mean? Um, well, part of this show also is me talking about internet marketing. Um, <laughs> um, do, do you do, off, like so on Facebook, Facebook, <laughs> Facebook and Instagram, um, you can promote. Do, you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I basically. do. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Just making sure. Of course, I took advantage of that. <laughs> um, there's a there's a lot of stuff. You def you definitely need a website. Um, I would suggest get one of those that you can just build yourself. Um, like Wix or uh, was it? Yeah, Wix dot com. That's actually, um. What's what's our fucking website? Uh, Mad Scientist Lab Podcast dot com is uh, a Wix site. Okay. Just because it was as easy to, I can build websites, but it's just like I didn't need to put something up quick, so I I just did that. Uh, you could also there's Squarespace is a, is another I one. I heard about that. Yeah, Squarespace is one that a lot of people are using. Same thing, you can build it yourself. Um, uh, the biggest thing though. As far as branding and marketing, I would suggest you got to figure out what your domain name. Like, what's the name? What's the name um, of your business? Motivated by Jess okay. LLC. Oh, you got another motivated. Mo- yeah, motivated. Jay, uh, Jay's moving company is Motivated Moving Solutions. Oh wow! Shout out so. to Jay Joseph. <laughs> Make your next move your best move. Free, see, he is so much free pub. Yeah, well, it's he's <laughs> deserved it. He's, he's like saved he our life on multiple occasions. That's true. That's true. Uh, at least ten. All right. Um. So yeah, um, get the domain name. Uh, so like, go to somewhere like Namecheap dot com. Uh, that's where I buy my domains. Uh, yeah. So yeah, you got to get your domain name, and then once you do that, then you can figure out what platform you want to build it on, and uh, if you want to pay somebody or however you want to do it. Okay. But yeah, for sure, get that because you want to have everything consistent across. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, I have like I actually my. That's my business name. Mm. I mean, I have it. It's oh, you, you got an LLC. Yeah, okay. I do have an LLC. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, so nobody can hike it. And then your Instagram is motivated by Jess. Gosh, okay, uh, okay. I can't do Facebook because Facebook only allows you to put your real name. No well, more. you can do a page. You can create a page. Yeah, uh, I think I need to. Yeah. Um. Shit, I got like fourteen pages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I got this one for yeah the math scientist lab. I have visual math scientists. I have. Some stuff that I, because I do affiliate marketing, which is selling other people's products also, but that's like paying for traffic and like, that's a whole different thing. But to do that, you got to have, to you got to look like a legit business also. So I have a bunch yeah. of pages for those and then I have websites for those. But yeah, you can just create a page. That's easy. You just, you can do that on your phone, like create a page, um, fan page and, and then add all your, your, your stuff. It'll, it'll walk you through like how to set it up to be best. You definitely need that um, for sure, and then you can uh, you can advertise that too to just get yeah. likes. Well, um, thank you. I don't know. Well, uh, he's definitely the guy to talk to about <laughs> that because with it's, that stuff is not it's not over my head, but I'm not like nearly as invested into it as uh, this is. I, I don't know, man. I, it's crazy because I I've loved marketing f- since even in school because I had this project I had to do and like. Fucking teacher was like, "What the fuck? Like, <laughs> what? Look at this little nerd! Hello, yeah. little nerd!" Yeah, and, like, I, and I don't know. So I, I just love. I've been doing marketing and I do internet marketing. Like you, I went through a kind of a life changing thing last year, like looking at myself and where I wanted to be, and I decided I don't want to work for anybody too much longer. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah, working for people sucks, dude. Yeah. It does. Uh, so, I uh, I will say that I agree. Like you know, um, I wouldn't say well. In the near future, I'm hoping to be very successful, you know, um, but no, I want to continue all, to work for myself. In the future, I am going to be successful. I am successful. Not hopefully. <laughs> if and you then, say hopefully, no. then there's a doubt. You're like, uh, no. No, no. Yeah. I am successful. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Fuck yes. yeah. Drink yeah. beer. All right, hold on. Um, 
but yeah, no, no. Uh, that's the reason why I wanted to, I started my business because I was so tired of working for people. I was so tired of being underpaid. I was so tired of letting people decide how much I was worth mm-hmm. as a server. Yep. It just was not working anymore. And I was like, yeah. you know what? I devalue myself by allowing people to tip me or not tip me, which is not fair. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. I understand that serving is a, is an easy way of cash. You know, it's an easy way of life and people need to make money that way. But I thought that, I was devaluing myself by continuing to be in the industry. Nothing against anybody who's in the industry. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, you just, me, I, I just got tired of it after to X amount of years. I was serving since I was 14 years old. So I was like, I can't do this any longer. Yeah, man. Yeah, so, no, I know the feeling like, uh, you know, working in the pizza business for as long as I did. You know, I started out as a delivery driver. And, you know, I'm using my own car, man. But, you know, you're right, that business... In general, it, it's it's easy money. You're young. You can make a couple hundred bucks a week. It's like oh, like you know, you know, you don't have too too many responsibilities. And I just, I've done some pretty wild shit for my job to get the job done. I mean, I've driven and I, I'm sure I've told the story more than once. But when Jared was talking about tipping, because I'm I'm I over tip. I spoil the shit out of people, and I don't care because m- many years ago, I think it was like 2010 when we got like this big big snowstorm. It was probably like 25 inches of snow outside or whatever. I had my 91 Ford Taurus. I mean, it's old, beat up. I should not be driving. Dude, you in love the Fords, don't you? <laughs> well, it's, I bought the one car from my buddy, from his grandmother, and then my friend was working at a Ford dealership, so it just kind of mm. happened that way. I didn't go like, hey, let me go buy a Ford. It's like, oh, I know somebody that works here All that's right. going to hook me up. Gotcha. So anyway... Uh, my friend that was running the store at the time called me. He was like, I need you to come into work. And I'm looking out the window and this is 2010. So I was probably, yeah, I was probably maybe about 21 by that time. And, um, I was like, dude, you want me to come into work? I was like, do you see what's going on outside? He was like, I'm here. I was like, dude, you live across the street. <laughs> you know what <laughs> he I mean? Like, walked. <laughs> yeah, he probably did. No, well, actually, no, that would have been a bad idea anyway, but I didn't live too. I still lived in this very general area and yeah. you know, the shops right down there in Kingstown. So I was like, all right, man, I got you, you know, because he gave me the job when I really needed one. Like, and so I, I you know, want to be a good friend, team player. And I dig my car out, okay? It takes me like an hour and a half to dig my car out. I drive up to the shop. I get there. Only two other guys showed up. I mean, dude, it's, there's nobody out. It's like, yo, this is crazy what I'm doing, right? This is mad fucking dangerous. I get one delivery to the Coast Guard right there off of Telegraph Road. And my friends actually in the car with me because he was staying at my house and the lady at the gate ordered like a, I think it was like a medium pizza. I can't remember what it was. It's just like one pie. And she gave me three bucks and she said, man, you're crazy. And she's always super, I've delivered to her before, super nice lady. But I thought about it and I looked at it and I was like, damn dude, I was like, this is a wild ass feeling, dude. I'm out here like risking my fucking balls for these three bucks. All right. Your balls? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought, I thought yeah. you were going to say your life. <laughs> well, yeah. Those are my life, Jared. They, they, they. So, uh, anyway, before this gets even awkwarder. Um, awkward. No, awkwarder. <laughs> um, I, but I just drove back to the shop. <laughs> okay. And I get back to the shop. He's like, we're closing down for the day. I was like, why? I, it, it, That's the name of the show. Yeah. <laughs> awkwarder. <laughs> awkwarder? Okay. Well, I'm glad I can contribute in some manner. I was like, why? He was like, yeah, another, he's like a driver in another store got into an accident. And I was like, no shit. And I was like, there's 30 fucking inches of snow outside. So I leave there. I'm starting to drive home and then I get stuck. Okay. And somebody was fortunate enough to help me push my car out. Me and my buddy, like he had some chain in his car where he was able to like just yank me out there. And I got home. And it took me five hours to do all this from le- cleaning my car off to driving down the street to driving just right off a of telegraph road and going home. I did that for a total of like five bucks with my, you know, so when I would have fucking quit. Fuck no, 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 no. I mean, that's it's like, oh, you think of the nah, pizza, man, the snow. No, 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 no. I, See, I wasn't going to do what all we're that. talking about. Know your worth, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> man, I was, like, I, 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 I was like 21, man. Like but I would have quit. Nah, I'm not going to do look, that. I, let's, let's put it this hey, way. I, but I it, fucking quit. Two days after working, no, let's no, yeah, I was I did the training at UPS to load the fucking to be a loader. Oh, it's, I actually worked there uh, briefly. As well. Yeah, I fucking left after the training. I did the two days of training, and then I did one night of fucking loading a, a truck, a, a semi, mm-hmm. by myself, 
And I said, fuck this place. Because it was at the, it was a night job. And like, yeah. I was like, nope, never. I never went back. Didn't fucking ask. I, all I did was I want my check for the training days, and that's it. I never went back. Yeah, those guys don't really get, like, enough credit at all. Yeah. Because I worked there, like, you know, seasonal job in the wintertime when they need extra help and, and all that. And and I thought, like, you know, delivering pizzas in the snow was bad, dude. These guys don't have a fucking door on the side of their van. And it's, like, 10 degrees outside. I was like, are you cold? He's like, nah, man, I'm used to it. I'm over there, like, freezing to death. And just winds coming, blowing through the... Absolutely not. I could not do that nope. shit. Nope. <laughs> I know that, that makes no, that, You're riding along though. I'm talking about. I'm, I oh no! To, what you're doing is completely different. Yeah, I, I had to load the fucking truck. Fuck that shit. And it was in Houston, Texas. I because I was living in Houston at the time, and fucking it was hot as fuck. And it, even though it was nighttime, yeah. it's still hot inside okay. that fucking truck. And like you would get a box that's like this big, and it's like light as a the feather. Trucks are metal, right on the inside. Yeah, I think the top is kind of like plasticky though. I I can't remember, um, but you would get uh, yeah a big box and it would be light as a feather. But then you get this little small box like this big and it's fucking weighs like fifty pounds. It's like what the fuck? What's <laughs> in here? <laughs> I, it's a gold bar. I, I, Cause no, I was fucking. I would weigh like feel it. Like what the fuck is in here? And then I had to figure out where it go. Cause they, that's why they do the training. Cause you have to. It's like Tetris, but. All these that packages would drive me insane. It, it was fucking. Mm-hmm. It was. It's overwhelming. It was. And fun. it's like, do they pay enough to um, do something like that? It was. Not. It was holiday time, and it was. I think it was eight fifty an hour. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. So it's good that's thing why you quit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, I'm out. Of, out the fuck out. Of no, here. but it, but again, like as I guess the last year and a half has progressed with like the pandemic and you know how we were talking about essential jobs like the fast food workers and everything. I think one of the biggest reasons, you know, I initially, eventually left. One, I was, my body was, I was just exhausted from it. And two, I'm trying to fight, you know, for a dollar for some of my guys to just because we're working every day. We don't know what's going on. I could bring that shit home to my mom and my sister. You know, my sister has asthma. My mom is in her sixties. You know, she's in good health, but we, we know a lot more now than we did then. And it's like, Hey man, like, why can't I fucking pay the guys that, you know, come in and work with me? I, it's already hard enough asking the, these high school kids to come in when their parents are like, no, don't go to work. We don't, you, you could catch COVID and, you know, keel over, you know. Well, and, they could they could have brought it home to them. Yeah, exactly. So th- we don't know enough. And it's like you're putting all these underpaid jobs. It, you're putting us out there. Okay. I mean, I was the general manager at the time. I was making a, a decent amount of money. But I care about my staff because, like, if I don't have them, then I'm, you know, I'm, I'm fucked. You know, I'm doing all the work by myself. And so that was kind of like kind of the breaking point for me. It's like, you know what? You're not doing the right thing. Like, I don't see how you guys can not like, do you hear the bullshit you're saying? And I left on good terms. Don't get me wrong. But that was kind of like the final straw for me. I was like, well, this is bullshit because, you know, my employee who makes eight fifty can walk next door to Starbucks and get paid like $14 starting. And they, I know, and I'm, I've and never made coffee. College paid for. Yeah, and it's mm-hmm. all, yeah, it's all, it's all just, it's, it's bullshit. So what I found out since I, since I've left, I've almost been gone a year now. They've pretty much given drivers increases in pay, um, insiders and the GMs like with their weekly salary to try to you know retain staff. And it's like, see, it wasn't that hard. Yeah. Like you, you're waiting. You're literally waiting for people to quit. Oh, but here's margin. the thing too, yeah. with that boost of unemployment. Now you're looking at everywhere with hiring signs and nobody wants to go back yeah, to work. Like, it was like, let's see, when I got unemployment, it was like an extra $600 a week on top of what you were getting. Now I think they cut it in half. So I think it's like 300. Yeah, um, I, I don't know. I don't, know, I I don't get it anymore, I but I think it's like 300 a week, an additional um, plus whatever you get Damn. weekly. And it's coming to an end in September, supposedly. Yeah. So it's like um, everywhere I go, there's hiring signs. Like, and nobody wants to work. people were getting paid more to Just stay. sitting at home. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's just I mean, crazy. isn't that, like, not, like, the dream to just be like, hey, you have enough money to take care of yourself, yeah. and you don't have to go, you know, push a mop or wipe but a table. But another or, thing is, like, it's like, like you said, they don't pay enough. You know, I, we live in a very expensive area around yeah, here. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. And it's, it's like, I don't care where you live. Like, for example, if you live in West Virginia... Minimum wage could be $10 there, and you can live off of that, for yeah. example. Here, 
you need about 20, mm-hmm. 20, 25 an hour in order for you to be making, living a, a okay life and being able to pay your bills, rent, whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm like, they need to raise minimum wage all over this area. It should depend upon what area you live in, what the minimum wage is. It shouldn't be set on the whole entire United, United States making, um, for example, I think the average is now like fifteen dollars an hour, and that's still not that's good. actually actually that's what people were pushing for years ago. Now we find out, hey, that shit's still not enough. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, man, it's never enough. Well, it's well, yeah, you're right. Is always well, there, yeah. I know there's a lot that goes into raising the minimum wage because it raises, you know, yeah, well, inflation and whatnot. But it's just like the idea of it. It's like it's like yo, what the fuck? Like, how do you not how do you not get this? Like, you got people. Yeah, but you know the homeless problem in DC, right? Yeah. Okay, like the tents and just people out of jobs yeah, you, and you, you're talking about DC. Yeah, but well, I'm just saying, LA it just, is probably is way worse. Than oh that. yeah, I know that. My buddy of mine lives there, and he told me. And but any, just the idea that it's so hard for people to just oh, understand that. Speaking of that, you, you're talking about the thing is going to be up in September, uh, motherfuckers. The that um, rent thing that a lot oh, of the um, is it mandatory. Um, um, memorial, moratorium, yeah. yeah. Um, there, that's about to be up. So people, I are, thought that they were. Um, they, I read an article yesterday saying that um, they were trying to fight against it. I maybe, think. but I, I still know that um, not just rent though, but like mortgage payments. People who, who are like paying for houses, yeah. That there's gonna be a lot of like how all those ha- houses were fucking selling like hotcakes. Before, like, they're saying there's going to be, a, a, like, a sell-off. Like, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a shitload really of homes. That's really sad. That's yeah. really sad. You know, um, especially, like, for people who have young children. It's really sad. Yeah. It's, we're about to see what what that whole last year was all about. We're about to find out here pretty soon uh, in the next Oh, yeah. Couple and years. speaking of um, all the stimulus checks that people have received, um, you think it's free money? No way. Oh, yeah. It, it, no it, way. They're looking free. for something. I know. And I know. What are they raising? Okay, the prices of food have gone up. Um, marijuana is legal in a lot of states. Mm-hmm. I think they're trying to get money tax back, that. tax that. Yeah. That makes um, sense. Well, in Virginia every county so now, they're adding a tax. Like where I live is uh, PG County. There was already a steady tax on that. But if you live in this area now, my mom was telling me that they added a Fairfax County tax. They gave a tax break for car. Um, was it like uh, what's the the car? You guys have a car payment every year, or like oh, um, you know, property, property tax. Property, property tax. tax yeah. yeah, that they gave a break, but then with the county tax, it added up to be like what the the break was. I, on I, that. My fucking, I just got my bill for property taxes the other day. That shit did not go down. <laughs> maybe it was for older people like a certain age. Oh, I don't maybe, know. I don't maybe know. they did the tax break but it for elders. Well, property tax is not just for cars; it's also for houses. For house, yeah, yeah. yeah, any yeah. property, which is dumb. Like, why am I paying you for fucking shit that, that I, I own? own. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's funny you say that. I had, I work in the automotive industry now, and I had a guy. He's got this big motor home, like Dodge motor home, and he's actually getting ready to sell it because of the property tax. He was like, he's like. Basically, what Jared just said, and he, I, I think the one reason I like this business is because people are like super honest with you. He was like, "You know why I'm selling this shit?" And he was like, "He was like, why do I have to fucking pay to keep the shit that I've that's already paid off yeah. on my property?" Mm-hmm. He's like, "It's ridiculous," and he's like, "And it's gonna save me fucking twelve hundred dollars a month, like just for my car that I use occasionally to sit there." So he's gonna sell it, but yeah, I, just I never it. understood that. I'm like, you own this, like this is yours, you know? It's it, yeah, it doesn't ridiculous. make sense. It, it's but they won't get rid of it because they they make so much money off of it. Like they get they're guaranteed that every amount year. every year. They're guaranteed mm-hmm. to get that money, and if you don't, then you your, your license gets suspended. Uh, they they do they do all kinds of shit. That's crazy. They can fucking uh, what's that shit when they they can do they, your bank account, a bank account right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They mm-hmm. can take it off your check. Like it, it's fucking nuts, man. That's crazy. N- until until there's a revolution, man. Yeah. Ain't gonna be well, no what's gonna happen when people decide? Oh, you know what? Let's protest. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen, man, dude. No, well, I, well, let's put it this way: there was protest last year, and I don't see much change. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's some things have changed, not not a lot, but no. Then they're going to keep talking about 
fucking COVID spreading and, you know, vaccines. And That's what I, I, I don't even oh, know what's going on. Speaking of vaccine, oh, let me tell you, I was in D.C. last night. I went into um, a bar and uh, I could not believe that they had asked me for my vaccination card. Did oh, you tell them to fuck off? I go, like, this is America, what? motherfucker. What? Mm. Like, yeah, I, I've been vaccinated, but that's besides the point. It's like, isn't that against your HIPAA? Your HIPAA rights, like actually, that's a good point. Yeah, it violates that privacy. Yeah, that, that's yeah, that's uh, health. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, that's no, a good point. Well, I never thought about that. Well, it's it's ridiculous to begin with. Like, the, I mean, just the like the mandating of like the cards itself for certain oh, restaurants. And, yeah, and DC now. Yeah. I think um, if you work for government, it's in everybody in Pentagon. I think you have to have the vaccine, or you get tested like weekly or like every couple of days well i know when, when it sounds so weird to me like why is they don't even push the flu vaccine seen, like this and the flu is just as deadly as covid yeah like, if not if not worse that's she, what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah it doesn't make sense so i guess with that being said <laughs> oh, God. okay so i'm gonna ask her the question <laughs> with that being said I can, uh, those shirts are coming by the way yeah, <laughs> yeah. um so how do you feel i guess since you just spoke about it briefly, how do you feel about like the whole COVID nineteen? <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Like in terms of just, do you think at this point? I'm not. I'm not even talking about that. Like, might the be vaccines. a shirt too. I'm not even talking about how like, do you the feel about COVID? Just like the things that they're doing to implement it, like with the like in terms of, do you think it's as as bad as they say it is? No. Okay. It's the media. I feel like the media is making it like a hundred thousand times worse and you know what it sounds so fishy to me because why are they rewarding people yes. to get a vaccine so Jessica what Rocks. is going on yeah it's weird yeah. what's going on like i i'm it's some i'm like i'm this is like a whole conspiracy thing that's going on like i feel like they made it up yeah it may exist who knows no it exists it, it's just oh, i believe it's real it's not yeah. it's I, not I'm having what second been. thoughts i'm like the Delta? What kind of name is that? Mm-hmm. Delta? It sounds like we're in a freaking sci-fi yeah. movie. I'm like, so what? Did it? Did the? Did Corona now the crown? Did it variant to a triangle? Like, does anybody seen this variant like scientifically? I have not. Have I, they, I have been watching they, the news. My, th- I have a question about that. Like, so in the military, you have. Like when you say the the letters, it's like Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, then Echo, Foxtrot, blah 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 blah, on and so on. So in my head, how did we get to D already? So what happened to A, B, and C? <laughs> Don't even know the fucking alphabet. You're telling me to what to put in my body? You know. No, the only reason I well, ask. Well, I think you know. I don't know. I'm religious. I believe in God, you know, um, I honestly believe that they're trying to, um, you know, brainwash people Mm. to take the vaccine. Um, and I believe that the world is changing to a one world power. Just, I think there's going to be in the Bible to speak of an antichrist. And I really believe that that's going to happen. Shit, yeah. I don't want, no, no, don't, I know. don't scare me. I'm yeah, don't sorry. scare Jared. He I'm cr- sorry, he but cries I, in the I car. really feel like that's what they're doing, and now they're asking for a vaccine, and, you know, this is an, I don't, I've never heard of an, M, an mRNA, a messenger, you know, RNA um, vaccine, so this. Deoxy, um, ribonucleic acid. Yeah, so I don't know if this goes in and changes your DNA, supposedly. I don't know. That's what but I, I've heard different variations of it. again i don't really watch the news that much to even study i don't really care because i'm not gonna it's so crazy though like any other vaccine that i've gotten i've never had any kind of symptoms from it and this was well, flu something shot, flu shot I've you never, can yeah well yeah, I, yeah. I don't i haven't taken a flu shot in a long time uh like many years probably 20 plus years i've, I've never taken a flu shot um but that some people do have like a little cough or whatever because yeah. you're you're injecting the dead virus. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of that, Moderna and Pfizer are two different vaccines. Mm-hmm. One of them gives you the dead virus, mm-hmm. and the other one gives you um, it's I think it's like the live 
vi- it's like something by uh, virus. I can't remember which one. It, I might be a little off, but I, it's I think it's I think Moderna. one one of them gives you like I'm I'm pretty sure they all give you it's not the full virus, it's like the spike proteins mm-hmm. that the virus has on the outside of it. And that's what your body is, is supposed to attack. But why? I just can't even understand. Yeah, I know this is affecting the entire world, but to make a vaccine mandatory, it just makes no yeah, it's sense. Weird. Yeah, it's, it's very weird. It's fucking weird. So I'm not against, like, vaccines at all. But yeah, for yeah me, I'm not an a, anti-vaxxer. A, yeah, yeah. So I think that's where the media is, like, twisting that shit around to. So everybody, I, I didn't get the not shot. Just, well, I okay. guess we're, 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 let's, let's be clear. When we talk about media, we're talking about social media because people okay. are also like yeah creating that hysteria. Okay, so that's like the new, I'm t- the news is the worst thing you can absolutely yeah, watch yeah, yeah. ever. It doesn't matter what it is about. Like, there's nothing ever positive on the news. It's no. all just negative things. Like, I feel bad when I watch the news. Like, yeah, and well, I, it's I, mentally, it's it's not good for your your psyche. You know, no, it, it, it's it not good at all. It makes you depress. All this stuff that's going on, I'm like, oh my gosh. Every time I'm in the gym and I see the TV, I'm like, okay, I'm turning this off because mm. I cannot see anymore. That's going on. This is depressing me throughout my day. You know, just one little thing that you look at for 20 seconds can cause you to have a bad day oh, yeah. for the rest of the day. And mm-hmm. you can have anxiety and you don't know why because you watch a video for like 10 seconds. Yeah. yeah that's why I got to I gotta fucking get off Facebook so much. <laughs> yeah. Just be scrolling. Well, yeah. Well, it's the reason I say that is because I look, you know, other vaccines throughout history, you know, they take. Years for you know approval and well, testing. Studies. Oh, studies. And the studies. Pfizer. Fi- wait, hold on. Pfizer Biotech. Pfizer Biotech. Oh. Biotech. Oh, okay. Why the hell is Biotech making a vaccine? A bi- yeah. Biotech tech. Something. Yeah. Yeah, it's technology. so strange to me. But that Pfizer Biotech is now F- It's now FDA approved. It's yeah, the first vaccine to be FDA approved. I mean, I don't... But now they're talking about booster me, shots. Yeah. yeah, and all this other that shit. That is what I said. I said, you know what? I'm not getting a booster shot. I just got the COVID vaccine, like, maybe six months ago. I am not getting a booster. Refuse. Yeah, like, what, I what, refuse. What's the, like, what's the... Most... Okay, and this goes back to what we're talking about. Like, you were saying, most vaccines, you got... Even if you have, that, like, a measles booster or whatever. Like, you, you had it when you were a kid, you were born... You have to get a booster, what is it, like every 10 years or whatever, or a tetanus booster. Like, fine. But those have been around forever. Like, why do I have to? And, and it's 10 years or however long away. Yeah, like the tetanus shot, for yeah. example. Mm-hmm. I don't, why do I need to get one six, nine months after I just got these two other ones? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Like, well, I don't understand. I don't, um, something's not adding up in my That's head. That's what I'm saying, too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. It's very fishy. And, like, now, you know, they said, oh, you know, people can run around with no masks on, you know, and now everybody's taking the vaccine and now they're wanting people to mask up again. I'm like, what in the heck is going on? Is this vaccine not even a real vaccine? And people, I I understand you're getting vaccinated and you can still catch the virus. I'm not saying you can't. Mm. But it's like, okay. What in the world is really going on? Yeah. I have a like I'm I'm really like what is going on? Something's going on. Something's not adding up. What is it? Yeah, I'm, pff, trust me, I'm there. Well, I, I think that's it that's, and, that's, and, that's a lot of people. I mean, my family, you know, my mom's side of the family is all nurses. You know, my grandmother was a nurse for forty years. My aunt's still a nurse. You know, they got it. L- luckily enough for for uh, you know them, nobody's had any severe side effects or anything of that nature. But I think for me. It's like, again, I'm not against it, but it's like, dude, this shit hasn't even been out a year yet. And, you know, you're hearing reports of, you know, possibly needing boosters and then people having some really severe side effects from it. And we it's have, just like, you know, somebody know. who possibly um, they have a very close relative who had uh, who didn't make it after like yeah. a couple of weeks after taking it. Oh, gosh, I'm scared because my dad's not vaccinated and. um because my mom can't get the vaccine. Like, she's my mom has a lot of health issues. Mm. My dad, um, just to be on the safe side, he was going to take it for her. And um, I'm kind of worried, you know, because I'm like, my dad's a really heavy smoker. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I'm like, I don't know. And my mom was, my mom was telling me, she's like, I'm really scared for your dad. I don't know. Like, 
you know, I'm like, I don't know. Even I can't, I can't tell you, you know, yeah. like, and it, but I honestly, I'll say this. I regret taking the vaccine. I, I mean, you regret probably, it. yeah, I, I'm, I know I'm not the only one. I'm just speaking about it. I yeah. don't, I regret it. Well, I mean, we, we won't know. It's, it's gonna be what time. if, it's gonna what be if some one years. time, like, what if everybody who got it turns into zombies or like some crazy I, thing I made a, that I made happens? A jo- Actually, I did. I made a joke about that on stage one night. <laughs> I was I was like, so who's been vaccinated? I, like, that was my opener. I don't know where I just came out of nowhere. I was like, who's been vaccinated? And they were, they were like, well, like, who hasn't been vaccinated? It was like one person that raised their hand that hadn't been. Maybe I don't know if they were. Maybe everybody else was scared or whatever, but. This one person, I was like, well, hey, me and you, we going to fucking kill these motherfuckers Freaking when they turn into zombies. zombies. <laughs> it was like, no, zombies. I honestly feel like it. Well, I'm s- like, what is going on? Like, I think Doc showed us a video. I got my guns. Where, and again, I don't know. I'm ready for this. The, the legitness of this, these, the, this footage that he showed us, but it's like people taking like light bulbs and running oh, yeah, them yeah, yeah, along I, I where they that. got the shot. And the light bulb is like lighting up from like where the injection site was on their arm. And again, oh, I don't. Shit. Mine was on my left arm. All right, well, if you got a, I got some light bulbs upstairs. <laughs> and, you know, like. <laughs> oh, I saw this TikTok video of this lady who um, got the vaccine in her arm, and it was some scanner. She used a scanner. I saw that one. There, there were she nurses. She scanned it on her right arm. Mm. It said no identification. She scanned on the arm, her left one. A shit ton of numbers came up. Oh no, son. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, I'm like, what's going on? Are I think we, I like, saw that one. microchipped or something. I, I saw that. One. I, I, I oh. wonder about. Shout that out video, to Ace though. Tron. What's up? Oh, buddy? and um, I'm I don't mean to scare anybody, but when I got it, like, and I got my first shot, I heard this pop in my arm, and I go, "Wait, what?" Yeah, mm-hmm. I heard a loud pop in my arm. I don't know if anybody has ever. Uh, it was like a. It was like a pop, nah. and I'm like, "What the fuck?" I don't know. I can't tell you. We might have to end this podcast because <laughs> sorry, she might no, no, she no. might be tracking everything. Oh yeah, I know, right? Where is your location? <laughs> but if we if we get our tinfoil hats on, oh, I'm yeah yeah. But yeah, what, yeah. what so, up, Tron? Yeah, hey, matter of fact, he's supposed to be starting his podcast. So. Yeah, um, what no, is that? Huh? And the reason the reason I I asked that the, it, there's like an ongoing joke with our with me and Jared whenever we have somebody come over. I'm always just curious as to see where somebody's mindset is with this because obviously, obviously it's taken up everybody's lives in the last year and a half or getting close to two or whatever it is. I mean, it's changed everything dramatically. So I just like to see where, where people's thought process is on it because, again, we're not – me and Jared aren't out there, like, saying, you know, and, you know, uh, you, know blah, 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 you know, just being like, you know. I'm saying I'm not getting that shit. No, I'm, I'm just saying we're not <laughs> – Anti vaxxers. When I bought, I, I had, I told you I was going to Alabama soon. Um, I, when I bought my ticket, I was making sure that they weren't trying to say that fucking I had to be vaccinated or some shit. I do have to get tested within three days, which is yeah. Now I got, now I got to figure out where the fuck I'm gonna get tested at. Like my old, my old job, I I was getting tested once a week only because I was going into the office once a week, but right. Like, I have, that was the only time I was ever tested. Like those two, two or three times that I went into the office, I, I didn't get tested the whole time before, none of that shit. And, and it was always negative when I did get tested. So it's like, I don't know. So I remember. And I've been out. It ain't like yeah, I've, I've yeah. been fucking. <laughs> I, worked, I worked the whole time. I actually believe I had it at the end of 2019. Me too. Uh, yeah. I mean, me and him were sick. I don't really ever get sick like that, but when I can't, like, get out of my bed and, like, mm-hmm. hey, what the fuck is going on with me? You know what I mean? And then two months later, the first reported case is in the United States. It's like, nah, man, that shit's had to have been yeah. here, dude. So let me ask you this. Do you think it was created in a lab? Or do you think, do you believe, like, that bat origin or whatever it is? I think it was a man-made, a yeah. man-made thing, and um, they just let it go like in the air or like somebody went by the meat market and then put it on the the meats. Yeah, I mean I, it's SAR isn't the it? The meat like has SAR, nothing to do with is it. Is it like SARS? It's SARS. No, right? it is SARS. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a so it's a different version maybe of Maybe they SARS. took that um, you know, they had whatever in the lab and they mixed it with something else and created this virus. You're partially correct. Uh, the meats the meat market had nothing to do with it. Um, 
and I, I, I'm saying this like I know exactly what happened, but this is from what I saw at the beginning um, and what I've heard from uh, other bio scientists, like on a podcast or whatever. Um, it more than likely did come from a lab. Um, not on purpose, but it did come from a lab. Um, and, but then there was a, another, there's a study, there was actually a study, um, and I, I have to look it up again to find it, because it, it's out there, because you can, you can go on Google yeah. and see studies, like actual studies. Um, what is it, scholar pages or something? But anyway. Um, so these, per- these people were actually doing and uh, it's going to be funny, like gain of function testing on hmm? okay. um, gain of function testing on on the, the viruses that came from bats. And somehow it got out. But all right. Well, with all that being said, <laughs> that's a know. great way to abruptly end the show properly end the show. But. Uh, but but uh, time is up, folks. Unfortunately, um, Jessica, thank uh, you so much. Um, real quick though, um, sh- uh, like where can they find um, you? Instagram? Uh, sorry, Instagram motivated by Jess. You can also find me on Facebook at Jessica Hauderschelt. So my last name is H O U D E R S H E L D T. And if you're interested, you can also email me at Gmail, which is motivated by Jess at Gmail dot com. And soon. Soon, motivated by Jess dot com. Yeah. <laughs> or yes. All right. Matter of fact, she's gonna order. She's gonna figure out how to order that shit right now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming over. Um, you know, just hearing your story is awesome. It definitely we like having people such as yourself over, giving some insight. You know, you know, life happens. You know, but you stay tough, you stay firm, and you shoot for your goals, and that's uh, that's awesome. So, thank you so much for coming over. So with that being said, oh my God. ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to episode 103. Yes, 103 episodes of the Mad Scientist Lab podcast. As always, it is IRG, the pizza guy, along with Jared, the visual mad scientist. And again, Jessica, thank you so much for thank coming over. Thank you, guys. I and appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, come over anytime, okay? See, what did I tell you? It wasn't too bad right now. That, no, now that it's so, not, it was really great. Yeah, I yeah, see. Myself. Thank All you, right. guys. All right, so we will see you guys next week. And until then, like, share, comment, subscribe, and be safe. Oh. In a and fuck you! Sorry, I'm oh, no, don't even do that. <laughs> I'm going to hit you so hard, you won't see nothing. Ever, 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 ever. <laughs>